In this video, we're going to look at terms that sound very, very similar, uh, but they have different meanings. So it's very important uh, in learning of chemistry to know the difference between these similar terms. The most common one that um, I get from students would be, what is the difference between ammonia and ammonium? Right, ammonia is a compound that is formed between nitrogen and hydrogen. Okay, it is a compound formed from nitrogen and hydrogen. Now, since nitrogen and hydrogen are both non-metals, the compound that is formed is a covalent compound. Okay, if we were to draw the dot and cross diagram, for ammonia, it looks something like this. Okay, so ammonia has the formula NH3. Okay, where um, one nitrogen atom shares electrons with three hydrogen atoms in order to achieve a noble gas electronic configuration. Now, since it is a covalent compound, we have learned that covalent compounds have simple molecular structures. So, ammonia has simple molecular structure and therefore, ammonia would have the properties that are usually associated with compounds having simple molecular structures. For example, we have learned that compounds with simple molecular structures have low melting points and boiling points okay so usually they exist as gases under room conditions under room temperature or room conditions so indeed ammonia is actually a gas under room uh, conditions the other thing that we learn about compounds having simple molecular structures is that they do not conduct electricity Okay, because there are no free electrons. So in when ammonia um, is a gas in gas in gaseous form, ammonia do not conduct electricity as well. Okay, the last thing that we learn about compounds with simple molecular structures is that they are usually insoluble in water, but ammonia is an exception. Okay, ammonia is an exception, so it is actually soluble it actually dissolves in water okay the reason why is because it forms a very special type of intermolecular um, attraction with water which allows it to be soluble in water all right so ammonia therefore can exist in aqueous form as well so ammonia usually is gas okay but it's soluble in water so when you dissolve it in water it forms what we call aqueous ammonia okay the very important thing about aqueous ammonia is that uh, we learned that under acids and bases that it is a weak alkali okay why is it a weak alkali um, it's not immediately obvious but when dissolved in water ammonia can actually react with water to produce hydroxide ions okay take a look we have hydroxide ions over here so if you can recall an alkali is a substance that dissolves in water to produce hydroxide ions so since ammonia um, can produce hydroxide ions when dissolved in water it is classified as a weak alkali okay now um, next, we learn in the topic of acids and bases that alkalis can react with acids to produce salt and water. Okay, so when ammonia undergoes reaction, when ammonia is the alkali, when ammonia undergoes reaction with acids, essentially they form what we call ammonium salts. Okay, what are ammonium salts? Ammonium salts are salts that contain a particular ion, which is your ammonium ion. 
So for example, if ammonia were to react with hydrochloric acid, okay, if ammonia reacts with hydrochloric acid, it will form ammonium chloride. If it reacts with sulfuric acid, it would form your ammonium sulfate. Okay, one more, if it reacts with nitric acid, it forms ammonium nitrate. Okay, so all these salts that are formed uh, when ammonia undergoes a reaction with acid is called an ammonium salt. And if we look at the ammonium salt, uh, they all contain the same cation, okay, positively charged ion, which is your ammonium ion. Okay. So essentially, ammonium, ammonium ion, uh, is a polyatomic cation that is formed when ammonia undergoes reaction with an acid. So in a nutshell, ammonia is the molecule NH3, whereas ammonium is a polyatomic cation. Right, when we were learning about ionic compounds, remember we learned about polyatomic ions, uh, which means that the ion is made up of uh, more than one atoms that are connected together. All right, so ammonium ion is a polyatomic anion, uh, sorry, it's a polyatomic cation with the formula NH4. All right, how is ammonium ion formed? It is formed when ammonia undergoes reaction with an acid. The next term that we're going to look at would be hydrogen chloride versus hydrochloric acid. Now the confusion comes in because these two substances essentially have the same chemical formula. Right? The chemical formula for hydrogen chloride is HCl. The chemical formula for hydrochloric acid is also HCl. So the difference between these two would be that hydrogen chloride refers to the gas. Okay, hydrochloric acid refers to the compound when dissolved in water. So aqueous state. Right? So would the difference in state mean a lot? Or, or is it significant enough for us to sit up and take note? The answer is yes. Okay, why is that so? Hydrogen chloride, once again, is a compound formed between hydrogen and chlorine. So since hydrogen and chlorine are both non-metals, the compound that is formed is a covalent compound. So this is the dot and cross diagram for hydrogen chloride. And as mentioned, since it is a covalent compound, it would have a simple molecular structure. Would mean uh, it will also mean that it has properties that are associated with compounds having simple molecular structures. For example, low melting point boiling point. So as a result, it exists as a gas at room temperatures. So indeed, hydrogen chloride is a gas. In fact, it is um, worth noting that it actually is a white fume. Okay, essentially a white fume. Same thing, uh, hydrogen chloride as a gas, it, it does not conduct electricity because there are no free mobile uh, electrons. And similar to ammonia, because it can form a very special interaction with water, so exception can actually dissolve in water, soluble in water. So in a nutshell, hydrogen chloride and hydrochloric acid uh, essentially refers to the same compound uh, but in different states. Hydrogen chloride refers to the compound in gaseous form, whereas hydrochloric acid refers to the compound in aqueous form. All right? In gaseous form, it doesn't ionize. Uh, it doesn't form any hydrogen ion, so essentially it's a neutral compound. It's a neutral molecule. However, when dissolved in water, it ionizes in water to produce hydrogen ions, so it is 
acidic it has acidic properties okay in gaseous form um, there are no free moving electrons so uh, hydrogen chloride they, it does not conduct electricity but when dissolved in water it produces hydrogen and chloride ions therefore the presence of free moving ions makes it um, a conductor of electricity